Hello, and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Priya. And I'm Izzy. Today, we're going to start out with this week's top story. Let's send it to Janisha with the story. This year, Wilder Wright students will notice changes around the building. One of those changes is in the nature classroom. The students are going to see new equipment and a lot more in the nature classroom. We had a chance to interview Mrs. Berg and some students to see how they like the nature classroom. Today's top story is about the nature classroom with Mrs. Berg. Thank you so much, Janisha. Well, for a few years here at Wilder Weight, we have been working to develop our outdoor nature classroom. And we've been making lots of additions, so we thought today would be a good time to review all the materials at the nature classroom and the expectations for using our classroom. What kind of things are happening in the gathering area, Mrs. Berg? The gathering area is a place for groups of students to come together so classes can come out, do things uh, like journals or reading stories, um, all kinds of activities. But also small groups can use the gathering area when they're using the classroom. Again, for things such as music and movement. Uh, and you are always welcome to move the benches or the chairs as you need to so that you can make the area useful as a stage or to have a little more room for uh, dance or music or uh, whatever other kinds of activities that you are interested in doing. Let's look at this nature area. For classes or students who would like to do a little art, we have these picnic tables and we've added the umbrellas uh, for those extra sunny days. Inside the cabinets you'll find art materials such as paper, crayons, marker. You might even get to do a little painting out here. You are welcome to come to this area and show your creativity and enjoy a little out outdoors. Let's look at this colorful wall. Well, yes indeed, Janisha, check this out. So Mr. Conley actually had seen an example of this online and with a little effort from Mr. Bridgman, Mr. Hanson and a few other people, we've now assembled our music wall. Here is a super fun fact. These pipes are actually tuned to musical notes so students can come out and use the paddles to make a little music. There's also a number of percussion instruments for children to enjoy. Let's check out this grassy hill. Mrs. Berg, what do wildcats use for this? Well, actually, Janisha, a grass area is a requirement of having a nature classroom. This provides children with a space to uh, lay in the grass and read the bo a book. Sometimes I see children doing somersaults or cartwheels and just kind of moving their body in this area. There's lots of ways that children are welcome to use this area, whether it be to relax or, again, move their body. Mrs. Berg, what's happening in the garden area? Well, a lot of the work in the garden area actually happened this spring and then throughout the summer. I've got to give a little shout out to Mr. Hansen because he puts in a lot of time to maintain this over the summer so that we can continue to see our plants grow into the fall. As you can see in our garden beds, we had some tomatoes this year, some peppers and other vegetables. There was a section with uh, some flowers and now we are also growing our own pumpkins, getting ready for fall, and that's even reminding me of spook. So at this point in the year, there's probably not a lot you're doing in the garden area, but we will look forward to having students work in that area uh, again next spring. Paisley, what are you most excited to do when you come to the nature classroom? Check out the books. Okay, thanks Paisley. Amelia, what are you most excited to do when you come to the nature classroom? The art so I can draw a picture for my friends. That sounds very nice. Thanks, Amelia. Ethan, what area are you most excited about using when you come to the nature classroom? The building blocks. Thanks, Ethan. Ray, what materials are you most excited about using? I'm most excited to use the bubbles. Are you gonna use them on the grass area here in the middle? Yeah. Perfect, thanks. Aubrey, what materials are you most excited to use on the nature classroom? I'm most excited to use the puppets so you could, so you could play with your friends and then they would be the audience and then I would be the maker of the show. I love that idea. Thanks, Aubrey.
far, all Wildcats are enjoying their learning and having lots of fun in the nature classroom. With these new additions in the nature classroom, the Wildcats will have so much fun throughout the year and years to come. Thanks, Janisha. Let's head down to ah Ahmed and Lucas with this week's Staff Spotlight. Hello, I'm Ahmed. And I'm Lucas. And today we are here with Mrs. Kruitz for this week's Staff Spotlight. How long have you been teaching at Wilder Waite? I've been teaching at Wilder Waite for 27 years. Uh, before that I had taught part-time here for two years and I was one year at Banner. So 30 years altogether for Dunlap. What do you like most about being a teacher? Wow. Hmm. I should say the kids, right? <laughs> I do enjoy the kids. I enjoy my colleagues, though also the other teachers that I work with. I love seeing the kids um, grow during the year. And I love starting fresh every year with a new batch of kids. What is your favorite book? Hmm. I have so many favorite books. I still have a couple of favorites from when I was you guys' age. One book almost no one's heard of is called Beautiful Joe. Another you've probably heard of, The Secret Garden and The Little Princess. But in my uh, grown-up years, again, I have very many favorite books. I would say one of my favorite books was a book called Help. The Help. What is your favorite food to eat? Well, I think if you ask just about any of my students, they would tell you they know that one of my favorite foods to eat is popcorn. Where would you like to go for vacation? Oh, a vacation would be such a nice thing. I wanted to go on vacation this year to Maine. I was getting really excited about that, and then the school year just got too close, and I, we couldn't go. But I like going somewhere new and different, having a new place to explore, and something um, that has a little bit of relaxed time, but also some things to go and see and learn about. What is your favorite hobby? Uh, my favorite hobby is probably finding something to do outdoors. I like either taking a bike ride or a hike. Probably hiking in the woods would be one of my favorite hobbies. How does it feel to be back at school? Well, it feels really great. Uh, like most of you guys, I was a little sad to see summer go. I like being able to sleep in a little later in the morning and being able to be outside. But I also was excited. I was excited to see who was going to be in my class, what my class was going to be like and I was really excited that we would have all the Wildcats back at school. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Now it's time for this week's weather report from 5A. The Weekly Forecast Hello everybody, I'm Claire Bittner and I'm Kaden Vrabel here with the 5A weather team. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. Monday we'll see the high 85 with a 50% chance of rain. Tuesday will cool down into the low 70s with more rain. Wednesday through Friday we will see highs in the low 70s with sunshine. Have a great week Wildcats. For weather, I'm Claire Bittner and I'm Kaden Vrabel. Let's check in with our new chefs, Chef Smith and Chef Minders, to see what is on the week's lunch menu. Hi, welcome to another week of lunch. I'm Chef Smith. And I'm Chef Minders. Hey, can I tell you a joke? No. Why was the bread dough sad? I don't know. Because it wanted to be needed by someone. Ha ha, very funny. Okay, let's cut to the lunch menu. On Monday, we're having cheeseburgers. On Tuesday, we're having chicken fajitas. On Wednesday, we're having spaghetti. On Thursday, we're having tangerine chicken. And on Friday, we have no lunch. I'm going to tell another joke next week. No. Yes! 
Okay, now we gotta go. Bye! It's time for this week's quick quiz. Can you get it? A new segment this week that we are sure Wildcats are going to enjoy. Let's check out Hall Talk with Regine. Hey, it's Regine, and you are here for Hall Talker Regine. Let's go see who's talking in the hall. What you doing? I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, uh-uh. No, you ain't. Get back to your room. Mm. This has been a Hall Talk with Regine. Time to see what Joke 5H has for us on this week's edition of Joke of the Week. Three. What do you call a fake pasta? An impasto. We are going to head down to Adit and Ishal to find out who this week's news quiz winner is. Hello, Wildcats. This week's news quiz winner is Katie from 3W. Katie will receive a special certificate and a candy prize. Keep filling out the news quiz and you could be our winner next week. Let's go back to the newsroom. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Wildcat Action. Dance three. Ow! And hit the chord, Sasha. Hit one.